Welcome. In this video, we'll walk through an overview of the impact value management data collection applications available for customers using the impact delivery instance. Impact value management is ServiceNow's structured approach to defining, tracking, and articulating the value of the objectives and outcomes you aim to realize with ServiceNow. To support you in this process, we've identified an out-of-the-box set of measurable success metrics that align to the objectives and outcomes our customers achieve most frequently. To streamline how you collect success metric data and share it with your stakeholders and with your impact delivery team, we've developed the Impact Value Management Data Collection apps, generally available on the ServiceNow store. Now, what are these apps? These apps, built on ServiceNow platform analytics, deliver a robust, scalable, and user-friendly way to collect data for the out-of-the-box success metrics for each related product. With these apps, you can automate data collection to reduce manual effort and ensure accuracy of success metric data, leverage the flexibility of ServiceNow platform analytics to adapt metrics to align to your ServiceNow configuration, and integrate these success metrics with impact value management to power outcomes insights, recommendations, and value reports with impact. A few important things to keep in mind. These apps enable sharing of out-of-the-box success metrics to the Impact Delivery Instance Portal, where you and your ServiceNow Impact Delivery team can review these insights together. Second, data is collected monthly, then aggregated and transferred to Impact on a quarterly basis. Please note that this process will vary if you are a customer in a regulated environment. And lastly, only aggregated data is collected and shared. For example, counts, averages, and sums, depending on the metric. No personally identifiable data is collected. With that, let's get started. The first step starts with defining priorities, a critical step before data collection can begin. First, begin by working with your impact delivery team to identify your priority objectives and outcomes within the impact platform. Once you've identified the success metrics you'd like to track, follow these steps. First, navigate to value management, objectives and outcomes. Ensure the correct instance is selected and then click on the manage objectives and outcomes button. Select the product that you want to track and then click save and continue. Choose the objectives that you want to track by checking the box and select the corresponding outcome by toggling the switch and then click Save and Continue. Once you confirm your updates, you'll be redirected to the Objectives and Outcomes page. Then double check that your newly created objective status is in work in progress. Once completed, your impact portal will be configured and ready to start receiving data. Now, it's time to set up and configure the Impact Value Management apps in your ServiceNow instance. Data collection will not function unless the required product plugin, as specified in the dedicated product configuration guide, is installed. First, head to the ServiceNow store to download and review the configuration guide for every product you are intending to track. You can access this guide in the Links and Documents section. The configuration guide will list out what dependent plugins are required to collect data. Additionally, your ServiceNow instance needs to be set up to permit the secure transfer of data to your Impact Delivery Instance portal. If your instance has the SNC Access Control plugin activated and you wish to permit the transfer of value metrics data to Impact, talk to your Impact Delivery team to provide you guidance on this process. Once you're ready, download and install the apps directly from the store into your instance. Next, it's time to review and configure the apps in your ServiceNow instance, starting with success indicators. In your ServiceNow instance, go to the Performance Analytics module and search for Automated Indicator. Here, you can review how each success metric indicator is designed to collect data from your instance. It is important to consider whether the success metric in question is configured appropriately for your instance. For example, if you consider a resolve state as an incident closed, you may want to adjust the configuration in Platform Analytics to reflect this. Follow the instructions in the configuration guide to review and make any needed adjustments to the metrics to match your implementation of ServiceNow. Discuss and validate any modifications with your impact delivery team. The list currently displays only automated indicators. 
There are also some manual indicators, which are success metrics that cannot be automatically instrumented. To input manual indicator data, navigate to the Performance Analytics module and select Manual Indicators. Then locate the indicator related to the desired application. Click on the relevant manual indicator, then select Scores for this indicator to manually add the scores. Now we can activate and run data collection jobs. In your ServiceNow instance, go to Performance Analytics, Jobs. Find the data collection jobs for your product by applying the filter condition as application name contains impact. The monthly jobs automate data collection going forward. Select the active field in job parameters and save the record. There is also the option to run a historical job as a one-time exercise to help you work with your impact delivery team to identify your baseline performance for all automated success metrics. Find the historical data collection job for your product and update the relative time period based on how many months of history is required. Then you can perform a one-off data collection job by selecting Execute Now. Please note that if you don't have the Performance Analytics Pro subscription, collection of historical data will be limited to six months. Additionally, data from account archives will not be collected. Only the previous month's data is automatically transferred to Impact. To import historical data, please reach out to your Impact Squad or Customer Success Manager to initiate this process. Once you've completed these steps, data will begin to be collected automatically on a monthly basis. You'll see the monthly data reflected in the trends and the outcome performance page will display quarterly impact data between the 22nd and 23rd of the first month of each new quarter. As a reminder, this process will vary for customers in regulated environments. Discuss options with your squad for manually transferring data. You'll be able to work with your customer success manager to begin reviewing your success metrics and impact to showcase progress towards your desired outcomes and prioritize next steps. For additional support in setting up and managing value management data collection, remember there's a detailed configuration guide available for each app on the ServiceNow store, and your impact delivery team is available to support and advise you throughout setup and use. Thank you so much for your time today.